So a common question that I get in the office uh, from parents of newborns or parents coming to meet me before their baby is born is why are infants given the hepatitis B vaccine at birth? And there are a few reasons. Um, the hepatitis B vaccine became recommended for all children and adults in 1991. Um, and the reason we recommend it for infants is that 90% of infants who contract hepatitis B from their mother will become chronic carriers. And that means they will have hepatitis B for the rest of their lives. People who are chronic carriers are at risk for uh, things like chronic liver failure, but also uh, liver carcinoma or liver cancer. So it's really important that we present those, prevent those chronic infections. So most mothers will tell me, well, that's great, but my OBGYN did the hepatitis B tests and I was negative, so my baby shouldn't need to get the vaccine. And that's an understandable opinion and understandable feeling. This is why we still recommend it for all infants. Um, about two-thirds of the infants who were diagnosed with hepatitis B or contracted it from their mother had mothers who actually had negative testing. So how can that happen? Well, there's a number of ways. The first way that can happen, occasionally, unfortunately, we get what's called a false negative result. That means there's a mother who truly has hepatitis B, she's a carrier, um, but unfortunately the test missed her being a carrier and comes up saying she's negative. And that infant has a risk of contracting hepatitis B from that mother and we would never know. The second instance is that unfortunately, sometimes tests are ordered uh, incorrectly either by the ordering physician or the test is run incorrectly in the laboratory. So that means either the OBGYN orders the wrong test on mom that test may come back negative but may not be an indicator of whether mom is a true hepatitis B carrier or your OBGYN orders the correct test, sends it to the lab, and the lab, through a lab error miscommunication, runs the wrong test, sends that back as negative, and that's miscommunicated as a true negative. Um, but the child is still at risk because mom is truly a hepatitis B carrier. About four to 5,000 children every year actually contract hepatitis B from their mother. Uh, and the majority of those moms had absolutely no risk factors. Mothers can also become infected after they've been tested during pregnancy and then can pass uh, hepatitis B to the infant either during uh, the perinatal time, during delivery, but babies can also get hepatitis B from exposure to saliva, blood, other bodily fluids, even things like using a toothbrush of someone who had hepatitis B can lead to contraction. So it's really important that we protect infants early on because once they've been exposed, once they've developed that infection, all the vaccination in the world won't help them. And that's why we still recommend hepatitis B for all infants in the newborn period, best before you leave the hospital, even if you personally as mom have tested negative. MedTwice.com